Hi, I'm Deb Smith, and I'm a speech therapist at Shenandoah. Uh, and for a student using an FM system, the speech therapist typically serves as a case manager. Um, this is especially the case if the student is not receiving any special ed services. And the responsibilities that come with that role include uh, really number one, ensuring that the student is receiving any services that are listed on the 504 or the IEP. Um, secondly, the case manager, who is often the speech therapist, will also coordinate the communication between the team members. And the team members would include the regular ed teacher, um, the teacher of the deaf, the speech therapist, and the parent. Um, this may include emails, um, scheduling team meetings. Um, an example of how th that coordination might work would be um, if the school team has a question that the speech therapist may not be able to answer on a day-to-day -day basis, um, she may reach out to the teacher of the deaf who has more expertise in working with students with hearing loss. Um, and third, uh, the third role really relates to the specific service listed on the 504 plan. Um, and often that depends on how independent the student is. Um, for a younger student, that may be um, maybe a weekly consult, maybe initially even a daily consult, really just making sure that the teacher, the regular ed teacher, special ed teacher, and the student are comfortable getting the FM system ready, that they're using it in the way that it's designed. Um, for an older student, the service becomes um, usually less um, depending on the level of independence. Um, for example, with Ava at this point, she's in third grade, um, and at this point, either Ava or her teacher, Peg Collins, really are the ones responsible for making sure this system is used appropriately. Ava gets her FM system ready in the morning. Um, she makes sure that the teacher has the FM on. Um, she also makes sure that the FM system travels with her throughout the day so it's used during her specials. Um, so that's really the role of the speech therapist in working with the student with an FM system. Hi, I'm Peggy Collins and I'm um, the general education teacher um, for third grade at Django. And um, this is my very first time using, my first year using the FM system with my student, Ava. Um, my main role is to make sure I wear the FM on a loop around my neck. And my main role is to make sure that the microphone is hooked right up close to my mouth so that Ava can always hear all of my instruction and everything that's, that, I, you know, that she needs to hear throughout the day. Um, anytime any little things have come up, I've always been able to um, get in touch with Deb Smith immediately uh, to troubleshoot any little um, glitches that come up. It's happened a couple times this year. If it stopped working, we get she gets me a loaner within the same day, so Ava hasn't had an interruption in her um, in her day. Um, every time we leave for specials, if we have music or um, ELA, I just simply take the loop off. Um, the FM system, Ava's extremely independent with it. I hand it to Ava, she will give it to uh, the music teacher, and then at the end of class, Ava will go back to the music teacher and take it and either give it to the next special teacher or give it back to me. Um, Ava's extremely independent when it comes to, um, you know, taking off her receivers in the morning, or putting them on in the morning and taking them off at night. Um, at the end of the day, she has a spot for them. Very independent with that. Um, and then at the end of the day, I take the, um, the loop off and I plug it in right over here to charge. I have a little basket and I just charge it um, for, the for the overnight so it's all ready for the next morning. Um, there's also one more aspect to the FM system that we found very helpful this year. It's a dynamic and when we're working in a small group setting, um, if Ava has a group, say, of four or five people, and I have um, students working throughout the room, there might be a little bit of background, more background noise than normal. So in her small group, Ava's friends are allowed to use, uh, they use the mic and they can talk into it, and it works as an FM. So she's able to hear them directly, even when there's background um, noise. So um, it's a wonderful system. It's, like I said, it's my first year this year using it, and it's been a great experience. Hi, I'm Rachel Austin. I'm a teacher of the deaf. Uh, my main role as a teacher of the deaf is at the start of the school year to uh, gain an understanding where all team members are at in their understanding of hearing loss and the FM equipment. From there, I provide an initial training um, at the start of the school year with a classroom teacher, speech therapist, and other staff as necessary to uh, look at the FM equipment, learn how to set it up, and do some basic troubleshooting if there is an issue. Um, I also provide some guidance to staff about the optimal use of the FM equipment during the school day. Um, some students 
who have a consult, um, I do come into the classroom and do a listening check of the equipment when I come in and make sure that it's functioning throughout the school year. Um, and that can include hearing aids and cochlear implants with the FM. Um, I also support in troubleshooting the equipment when an issue should take place or there's a breakdown um, in, it, in the FM functioning. And then I'll seek out knowledgeable outside assistance if um, standard procedures that I can do to, to problem solve aren't working. Um, overall, I do provide consults that can range with um, a variety of supports in, in place. Um, first of all, I'm able to kind of give suggestions about classroom acoustics and changes that can be made to ensure an optimal listening environment. Also, um, I'm able to conduct an orientation to acquaint hearing students with the nature of hearing loss and the equipment in the classroom. Um, they'll see the FM daily so that they'll know what that is and what the purpose is and hopefully be using it if there's equipment that's to be passed around. Um, and also, I provide ongoing communication between the classroom teacher, speech therapist, and parents regarding the student's progress as monitored during the consult visits. Um, I also help to communicate with the, the audiologist and ENT um, as needed. And then overall, I um, help to add strategies so that the student is able to become more independent in taking care of his or her FM equipment and fade off the support from um, other staff members. My name, is, my name is Ava. I'm in a third grade class. I have a hearing loss and I use the FM system too. My teacher is Mrs. Collins. In the, um, when I get to class, I put the receiver into my hearing aid. Let me show you how I do that. There is another piece connected to this. Um, we basically open the little um, battery place, battery hides, <laughs> and then you slide it right in, and then you can hear the, the teacher. Um, if you can't, if you can't hear the teacher, tell her or him so they will know if the FM system was broken or if it's just off. I try to be as independent as possible so I can be just like my friends. This is the dynamic. The dynamic is used for small or big groups. You pass it around and while you're reading or doing something on your work. Hello. Bonjour. These are my great, these are one of my friends. They're great friends and they support me a lot, but this is the dynamic. We support each other whether we have hearing loss or not.